Hi everybody, my name is Mateusz and today I will show you how to build a passive house in Minecraft. What is a passive house? Passive house is a, such a house which costs uh, are monthly roughly zero złoty or uh, in other currency zero dollars. In Poland we use Polish złoty. Where does this magic number comes from? It's simple. In passive house our bills are roughly zero złoty. It means that our house is good isolated in thermal sense. In addition, its electricity power comes from solar panels mounted on the roof of our house. To heat our house, we use a heat pump, which use thermal gradient between temperature in inside our house and outside our house, house and also the temperature under our, our house, under the fundamental plate. And we use that to heat up the, the air coming from the outside through the, our ventilation to the building. The heat pump is powered by electricity and it uses very low amount of electricity units so it's very cheap in use it is cheaper than fireplace or or gas powered furnace passive houses don't have chimneys because it moves too much air from the inside to the outside and the circulation is way too much intense to the normal use, ventilation in our houses could be 10 times smaller than in classical houses with gravitational chimney ventilation. Building such a house requires a lot of preparation. Firstly, the house must be built on the foundation plate. Such a plate make possible to airflow just below it. The temperature of the ground will come up to the plate and we can use that temperature to heat the, the air that we want to pump to the house. To heat this air we use heat pump which consumes very little energy. In the effect we don't have to pay the bills because they cost zero złoty. How to build a such a house? Firstly we need to build foundation plate. In my project I used cobblestone slabs and some polished stones to make fillers and on the top of it I poured out concrete to simulate foundation plate. I also poured out some concrete to mark where our walls will stand. At the end I spilled out some gravel to make additional isolation. What is also important in passive house is its setup in respect to the directions of the world. Its most windowed side should be on the south and uh, the side with no windows or with very small windows should be at the north. This is because we don't want to lose heat from our windows. Windows on the south side are secure because the rays that comes into the building can heat up the building. Looking at my world, east is over there and there is west. Sun is moving from the east to west. So there we should put our biggest windows. Now I will show you how my house will be looking like because this is just a project of the fundamental plate. Whole construction is much bigger and look like this. Here are some rooms, there is also garage. The vestibule is really important part of my house. I use one door to isolate outside area from the inside area and two doors to isolate the vestibule from the rest of the house. It prevents wind flow from the outside to the inside and much decrease energy loss. Take a note that there is no way from the garage to the building. This is to keep the insulation. In this big room I will make living room with the kitchen. There is also room for the terrace. With the blue concrete I marked a place for the elevation part of the building and with a red concrete I make some room for the inside walls of the building. In between those two there are load bearing walls. In the night the temperature loss is uh, not so big if we have special roller blinds. So in general we put our windows and the garden on the south and the north side is uh, near the road so uh, our neighbors can't watch what we are doing. We can also put small windows on the west and on the east. Now 
when we have some concept how our building will be looking like I can show you my project this is it this is paper of my house there is garage there are some room I think you can use your imagination and match these uh, shapes with the foundations. The main idea is that this house should be cuboid and that the garage should be stick to the main block. I will also show you materials that I used. In this sheet I wrote the most important dimensions that I use in my build. The most important is column B and C. Also the very interesting one is the field when I sum up the area of the whole house. The surface of the all rooms sum up to 2393, in which I mean 2393 of course. And this is the cross section of the building. The width of the garage is 22 blocks and its length is 16 blocks. We have to measure it in the terrain. Now we will build the smallest part of the foundation plate. We have to copy it. The pillars part is already done. Now we have to pour the concrete. Foundation plate is ready to use. In the next step we will pour color concrete to mark where our walls will be set. At the end I will pour out the gravel behind the walls. The music you can hear comes from Żwirek i Muchomorek Polish tale. In English it means gravel and toadstool. This is how perfect foundations should be looking like. I invite you to the next chapter of my little story with building passive house in Minecraft. In the next episode I will build some walls and leave that house to the end of the crisis in Poland to get some money to finish my work later. Bye bye. Wait. What? I was recording just a sound. Oh no, it was 35 minutes.